You have likely heard us say it before. If you recognize this person, call police. Often in a bank robbery, police ask us to release security photos of the robber in the hope someone knows who it is and turns them in. But often those photos are of poor quality. Amanda Shabari investigates, asking why banks aren't investing more in their security cameras to protect you and your money. Here is an example of what's usually sent to us when a bank robbery happens. You can tell the quality here is not very good, but it doesn't have to be this way. Check out News 10 NBC's own security system. This is not very expensive. You can already see right away the quality is much better. So why don't banks have something like this? The game has changed in a lot of ways. FBI Special Agent Jeremy Bell says technology has become an important part of how he works to solve crimes. Things like 3D crime scene imaging, um, facial recognition software, even uh, mobile fingerprint consoles, all of these things have made our lives easier. And technology at banks is no different. Last month, the Chase Bank on South Clinton Avenue was robbed. And thanks to an advanced security system, the suspect was arrested less than 15 hours later and 150 miles away. The image at the bank, and then we're able to see which direction the subject is leaving. We're able to capture him getting into a taxi cab, identify that cab ultimately able to capture his image at a bus station and also at a local hotel. Mirroring all those images up together, we're able to identify him first, which then allowed us to track his whereabouts in the state. But after we poured over pictures from bank robberies over the last nine months, we noticed a trend. Most of these pictures... They're definitely too dark, too grainy. Um, same, pretty dark, grainy. Definitely can't tell at all. So why are photos like this acceptable? We reached out to the banks that sent us these pictures. They did not want to talk to us, pointing to security concerns. So we reached out to tech companies that specialize in security for banks. If that doesn't exist today in a financial institution, it's because they, have, they, they haven't done um, regular room maintenance um, to make sure that they are doing security assessments to make sure they're, they're, that their equipment is either the latest technology or that it's, it's operating as good today as it was when they first put it in. Stephen Joseph says today in 2017, banks have many options for affordable, high quality visual security systems. And other security experts like Scott Thomas say the issue banks are focusing on other types of security. The physical security aspect of it, and all candor, kind of takes a back seat. Today, uh, the biggest threat for most of the banks is fraud. Special Agent Bell says at the end of the day, no matter what the picture looks like, detectives will work to make sure the criminals end up with a different kind of photo a mugshot. The advances in technology is really just a means to an end. It doesn't solve the crime by itself. It still takes that good traditional detective work that we've always been very good at. We have exclusive content on WHEC.com right now where you can click through bank robbery pictures, see where they're from, and decide for yourself if the quality is good enough. Amanda Shavari, News 10 NBC.